Today, we're racing a 2006 Nissan 350Z with a 1967 Camaro RS SS 396. You ready for this? The question is, are you? Is that car electric? <laughs> Today is the day that I've been waiting for for a long time. It is drift car versus drag car. It sounds like that's a Prius or something. Are you revving a Prius? Let me know how my dust tastes, all right? I'm riding today with one of my best friends, Danny Fuff, stuntman and race car driver. Oh, Steve and his red Camaro. I'm not gonna kick his ass in my drag car. He has no idea what this is for him. Ah! All right, Bubba, get up on my left. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Three, two, one, go! Really good. Danny wins round one. I think I squeaked him out by about a quarter. Get over to the left, we'll go again. Alright, I'm coming up on you. Three, two, one, go! Danny that I said in the video that if we just did that back and forth over the bridge the entire time that's just good enough we don't need to do anything else honestly we don't even need any of your shit talking or banter no no banter <laughs> no no let's look at your car what how cool it is whatever no that was great yeah literally the the drag race but I have to say that I uh the, in the latest race we just did I uh I, <laughs> I forgot to shift from first to second so that's why he pulled ahead a little bit. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised because you're terrible driving stick shift. I mean, okay. they've been in automatics for you. <laughs> I mean, I've only been racing for, you know, 20 years and stunt driving for 10 years, 11 I, years. I now. know that, but every time I drive with you, you forget to shift or you miss a shift or you get it locked up. Honestly, <laughs> Danny Bop is the worst at driving stick shift of anyone I've ever met. And I only learned to drive stick shift just a few months ago on my car. I need honestly I need a Tesla because I, I don't even want to deal with an automatic. <laughs> well just get in it and go. <laughs> honestly you get a Tesla, it's game over. There's no point of even racing. That's true. Yeah, yeah, so I mean if that if you just want to have it like that, then you can be in your own world and live on your own on your own space. That's true. Let me tell you a little bit about Danny Bop. So Danny Bop is one of my closest friends. I met Danny while we were working on NCIS. Uh, I think I got shot that day. He, did. he, he got blown away by a bomb. Yeah. Um I had a better hit than him. His was pretty weak. <laughs> I think Diamond gave me a better stunt adjustment because of it. He's the stunt coordinator, right. And uh, there's no way in hell that's even possible. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And and uh, let's see, naturally you can see why we get along so well. Uh, we started playing ice hockey together. Um, he's much better at that than I am because um, he's been playing his whole life and I started when I was like 27. But I'm obviously better at driving stick shift than him and I only started six months ago. So, you know. <laughs> There's Go a lot figure. of room for improvement to surpass me, for sure. <laughs> Apparently, there's one thing that is very, very accurate about the both of us. We're very both mediocre at everything we do. <laughs> Maybe even subpar. We strive for mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> if we get mediocrity, we know we've done better than we normally do. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Okay, well, I don't want to be near you because you're just bringing me down. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Thanks for watching today. Hey, so today we're doing drift car versus drag car. I've been waiting for this video for a long time. This is something that I'm so stoked about. 
And uh, you know what? Whoever wins or loses, honestly, doesn't matter because we're both subpar at everything we do. But you know what? I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'm going to kick his ass. What do you got to say about that, buddy boy? Uh, well, I think I think the train spoke for me. That's right. Uh, Production yeah, I'm, value. I'm clearly going to kick his ass. <laughs> Tell me about your engine. What do you got in there? Well, let's take a look. So under the hood of this bad boy is a very stock uh, 3.5 liter V6 by Nissan. Nissan 350Z. The only thing I've done on this car is uh, topped up all the fluids and I changed out the rear differential to a to an LSD because this is my drift car. Take a look at the inside. We're gonna take a look at the inside. So on the inside of this Japanese sports car, the only thing I've done is install a hydraulic e-brake to lock up those tires. You think you're so cool with your hydraulic e-brake, huh? Yeah, of course I am. I don't think, I know I am. Tell me a fun story about your stunt driving career. Oh boy, okay. Uh, well, I think it was about my first year of stunt driving. And this is when I was kind of ramping up to, you know, make it into a living, right? So I got a call about a, a Mountain Dew commercial. They were like, hey, are you comfortable doing, you know, these kind of maneuvers in an alleyway? And I was like, yeah, sure. This is kind of an example of what I had. a few takes uh, with the Camaro slinging it sideways, coming to a stop, what they wanted. And they were like, oh my God, this is great. You know, moving on to the next scene. That was great. Everybody's happy. And then the director comes in and he's like, I, I want to get, I want to get one more take. Uh -oh. And the, yeah. one, the one more, the famous one more. The famous one more. And he goes, all right, so listen, I know you've been doing a great job, but this one, give everything that car has, oh everything God. the car has and beyond. <laughs> Go as fast as you possibly can. The one time I gave everything I ever had, I went to the hospital. <laughs> Passed out, mind you. <laughs> but there's a big difference between directors that have done a lot of car car stuff for commercials and that, and movies and TV, and ones that have not. And they don't know the limits of cars. And they yell action, right? And so I just floor it, right? And I, and I go through the corner, I bust through the boxes, and I start to slide and realize I am going two times the speed I need to be going. <laughs> And so I went about seven feet past my mark and almost hit a staircase. I was within inches of, of crashing the car. So close to crashing the car. I was completely out of control. And from that day forward, and from that moment forward, I completely learned if there's a director that says, give me one more take, but make sure this one is just huge. Give me everything you got. Do it exactly the same way you did it before. <laughs> give me one more. Oh, an actual drift. Just show me what you can do. You got it. Woo! There we go. That's a drift. So, since I've had this car for a few years now, this is supposed to be lined up perfectly, but because I drifted this car so much, and the chassis roll and the flex, that it's actually not lined up anymore. See how it's just like barely off? That's a hell of a lot of drifting. His car is meant for drifting, mine's meant for going fast from one light to the next. His car is meant to do circles around mine at the intersection. Three, two, one, go.
You got it! <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Just smoked your Japanese pony. Having fun? I'm having a great time. Alright, yeah, bye. Three, two, one, go. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. You know, I was just, I was just saying, today the drift car became the drag car. Oh my god! Dominated. Oh my god! I gotta, I gotta choke American, you. <laughs> you're American. <laughs> I'm really grateful that we were able to do this today. I'm grateful that you're watching this video. The truth comes out. Danny Bob can drive. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Thanks again. Thanks, man. That was great. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one.